Babu na Mwamba right on set, but we promise you we'll make a date for that so that he can talk to these policy issues the panelists are raising. Away from that, there's a tournament that is ongoing, Shitera, uh, uh, you see her, right at the grassroots, probably you have a nick, new nickname. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about Chapa Dimba. <laughs> <laughs> right in Kisumu, and uh, Steve was there basically to cover right. this. And we are seeing an organized competition, uh, sponsors pumper, uh, pumping in lots of money. And actually, for the first time, we're going to see winners take home 20 million. Mm -hmm. So look at the prize money in Chapadimba, which is, uh, so to speak, a tani that aims to nurture talent and give opportunity, probably these promising girls, as Ita says. What can we borrow from that tani that went down in Kisumu and, of course, heading to Mombasa in every corner of the country? Right. Uh, number one, I want to, to thank Safaricom so much. Mm. Uh, they have always been uh, at the forefront when it comes to matters uh, developing sports. You see, uh, like we have mentioned, many people want their, to, be, to be associated with glory. You know, players who have been made, coaches who have reached the top, mm. but most of them don't want to be associated with the story from the beginning. Mm. And that's what Chapadimba is doing, mm. associating Play, uh, themselves with the players right from the beginning. Nobody knows what a, a player, Ogutu, for example, mm. comes, plays well. Some mm. scouts go there and they notice. Probably you can just hold it there. Uh, could we take a, a listen to that? Uh, Actually, should yeah. just play that. our final at that, that level. So to my piga to Kikuja, na your confidence with Yanawa may build to Kikuja. Uh, your focus, Yangu in Lilieka, in the Lifanika Fungazo Bambili, and Izo Bambili Zangu Pia, and you can dedicate your safari com calculator platform. Na ya kuweza kuonekana pia kama mimi nimeshinda MVP na Golden Boots na furatu sana na nashukuru Safaricom kwa leta tournament kama hii na expose wachezaji sana. Kuwa na better future kwa hii football. Initoe initoe hapa chini. Unaweza kupata team cheze Premier League. Mtambo tano. Kwenye sio kule kitambo chani. And Shitera, you cover this competition, Obunga FC uh, actually winning the men's title, Plateau Queens uh, winning the girls' edition. How good Obunga and maybe what maybe uh, stood out for you having covered this competition? What stood out for me are the fans that came out in large numbers. Actually, Obunga has a corner where fans were religiously supporting the team from uh, the... Uh, first kick of the ball and this is what we are talking about that football is made huko mashinani look at uh, Dan Kanomala a very prolific striker coming up brother to Benson in the, in the footsteps of his brother mm. and uh, funny enough <laughs> Obunga uh, uh, aged out uh, Omala's uh, team Manyata FC because Manyata is the team that bathed uh, Omala. Benson Omala. Right. Now, the rival team, which is Obunga FC, where his brother plays for, uh, Duncan Omala, uh, really showed intent in that uh, competition. And both teams, girls and boys, are from Kisumu County. That tells you something uh, about the talent in that region, that um, uh, these are teams that uh, are are from the slums mm -hmm. because Obunga and Manyata are from that same area. Mm. So if we go down there and as I recap what we had discussed here before, that these are the players who will be at AFCON 2027, Duncan Omala, Benson Omala, uh, George Ogutu, who was actually a joint top scorer mm. with uh, Omala and the uh, most valuable pl player of the tournament. These are the players we really need to put our eyes on. Mm. And as FKF prepares and uh, the coach prepares, he should be watching his tournaments organized by Safaricom. Scouting mission, mission so to yeah, speak. Yeah. School, uh, mm. uh, secondary school games. And kudos to Safaricom. They are doing what, again, the government should be and doing. And impo importantly, like uh, yes. uh, real quick, mm. you see, there has been a program by the FKF mm -hmm. to make sure that we have uh, at least KFD coaches so many of them across the country. Because when these players, the young players, interact with their coaches, people who understand the basics of football, they are able to be developed from a, a good place, mm -hmm. such that by the time you are being introduced to the big stage, you are good enough at least. To, you see, the idea is one day that we have so many players competing for the national team, like the way Senegal, you, you will be told that uh, Senegal can produce like three teams mm. of foreign-based players, all of them in top clubs. The day we get there, then we are doing well. And these are the footsteps towards that. And uh, I, I think it's a, it's a good journey. Now we are heading to Eastern.
Uh, we also expecting to see uh, exciting uh, players coming from there because Western at the Nyanza it has been uh, just awesome. Just awesome. Uh, uh, it's CSAs and uh, uh, today probably we ask you, we want to hear your thoughts regarding this AFCON 2027. Uh, so talk to us, just SMS your thoughts to 22422 at Citizen TV Kenya at Isaac's Wheel and of course we'll be sampling them shortly. So talk to us, your thoughts on East Africa's Pamoja bid. Hashtag Daybreak. Uh, Zita, probably, I don't know whether you played pool while in school or not, but Shitera and Isla believes they are the best in this game. I, I have to 